whenever there is a downtime for the application, first thing that the network operator would do is to find out if the application packets are coming to the network or not. If the packets are coming to the network, they would want to know if the packets are corrupted or everything is good, at least from the packet point of view. And to do this, they would need to capture those packets into the network and put it on an analyzer. Many times, these analyzers might not be connected to the network or the network operators do not have those analyzer itself. What ACI provides is a capability to capture those packets dynamically on the epic controller itself. And this becomes even more problematic when customers have virtual environment because in virtual environment the application instances may be available across the fabric they may be distributed across the fabric so network operators need to know where those applications are hosted from the network point of view and start spend sessions aci provides a, a capability where it will automatically the epic controller will automatically configure the spend sessions based on the location of the application because it is aware of where those applications are. In this video, I am going to show you how to configure this span session and how ACI does provide this capability. So, let us do that. So, I am on an epic controller. So, what you need to do over here is go to the operations tab and click on the visibility and troubleshooting and create a troubleshooting session. Let us name this session as TSW and provide the source IP address. In my case, I am putting the source IP address as 101100. ACI will tell me where this application or this particular IP address is located. It is located on leaf number 101102 as a VPC. It will tell me that the source IP address is part of this tenant, this application and this EPG. Similarly, I can provide a destination IP address and ACI is going to tell me where this destination is located and then I can start a troubleshooting session for between the source IP address and destination IP address and ACI will tell me automatically what is the topology between this source IP to this destination IP address. Now I have this source IP address 101100. ACI has provided me a full topology diagram. Uh, uh, and providing the details as to where this particular source IP address is, where the destination IP address is, it is located on which VM, providing me the VM name, uh, which host it is located. Uh, it tells me uh, what are the uh, ports uh, in the in the topology diagram, which is like uh, providing the complete physical uh, uh, topology diagram between the source IP and the destination IP. As you can see over here, it is connected, the destination is connected to VMNIC2, it is connected to uh, Ethernet 1 slash 2 interface and the leaf and the spine are connected and I can see the whole topology diagram like this. Once I get this, I if I need to capture the packet, I need to click on the span. So, I click on the span over here and then I have multiple options. What I can do is, if I have analyzer available to me, of course, I can provide the analyzer details and uh, uh, tell ACI that analyzer is available as part of this EPG or I can which is what I am going to demonstrate in this video is I can capture the packet directly on the epic controller itself. So, here all that I need to do is I need to provide a subnet for uh, the ER span. Now, what does this subnet means? This subnet means that I am providing a subnet something like 172.16.16.0 0 slash 24. So, the last octet is going to be changed automatically based on where epic controller finds this packet. If it finds it on a leaf number 101, it is going to update the last octet with 101. If it finds on a leaf which has an ID of 102 or 103, it is going to update it accordingly. So, let us start the capture over here and you will see that the packets are captured directly on the epic controller itself. So, I am starting a span session. Now, you can see that epic controller has captured the file and it is it has put that into a PK file. So, it captured the packet, uh, it looked into the fabric and captured those packets. So, what I am going to do is I am going to download this PK file and see it in a Wireshark.
I downloaded this file now and I am uh, looking at the Wireshark and as you can see the Epic controller automatically capture the packet with the source IP of 101100 and destination as 101200. And if I look into the details of the ER span header over here, it is telling me that the ER span source IP address is 172.16.16.101. So that means that the APIC controller has found this packet on leaf number 101. I can look into the packet content, I can look into the inner header, outer header and it tells me that the destination is 192.168.1.100 which is an EPIC controller IP address. So, I capture these packet on the EPIC controller. If you wanted to capture on somewhere some other analyzer that is the choice, I mean you can capture on the other analyzer itself, but you can also capture these packets on the EPIC controller directly. Now, you may have a question that what if there are a lot of packets which are going to the EPIC controller will it impact EPIC controllers primary job which is to manage the fabric? The answer is no, it is not going to impact the EPIC controller because what we are going to do is we will capture only 10 files of 1 MB each and EPIC controller will automatically uh, do a, a policer for these packets so that it is not really going to impact the functionalities of the EPIC itself. Right? So, this is a good way to quickly troubleshoot something uh, the, without having a, a analyzer uh, in the network. Thank you very much for watching this.